Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining today's EAC webinar. This is Cassie Stumo. I am the Marketing Specialist here at EAC. We will begin today's session with an introduction of EAC and then Ryan Trump and Colleen Garrigan, both uh, PTC Technical Specialists, will be presenting on Vuforia Chalk. Uh, everyone will receive a recording of this session pending any technical difficulties. Uh, so please um, feel free to drop questions in the chat and we'll answer them after the presentation. So I will start off with a quick intro to EAC. Our mission is to transform the way companies design, manufacture, connect to, and service their products. We are not only a value added reseller for PTC, but we are the number one solutions provider for PTC in the country, something EAC is very proud of. We offer our customers everything they need for product development, such as service lifecycle management software, which helps you create and manage uh, service documentation, product data management software like Windchill, ThingWorks, Navigate, um, and our customizable EAC productivity apps. Um, and those all help you manage internal product data. Uh, we implement the Internet of Things and augmented reality into business strategies to jumpstart initiatives around digital transformation and connecting all things in your company. We assist with design and engineering projects like FEA, simulation, uh, reverse engineering, and proof of concepts for our customers. And we offer webinars um, and PTC certified training courses for continuous learning. Uh, we're also a commercial reseller for Form Labs, um, offering the Form 2, which is an SLA desktop 3D printer uh, that delivers high resolution parts and prototypes for as low as 3,500. So please keep us in mind. Um, we really have a variety of tools to help your organization uh, save time and money throughout the product development process. But today, though, um, Ryan and Colleen will show us how you can communicate with the power of remote assistance through the AR functionality in PTC's Euphoria Chalk. So Ryan and Colleen, go ahead um, and take it away. Thanks, Cassie. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and jump into the presentation-based uh, part of the Chalk demonstration for today. Um, so to give you a little bit of an overview, uh, Chalk is the ideal fit for organizations that have a critical need for expert remote, gui expert remote guidance. Um, so maybe like a scenario where service and downtime are very expensive and the experts who can help fix these problems aren't necessarily available on site. It's very difficult to train and recruit a new workforce. So we have these aging technicians with tribal knowledge that are generally retiring because they find physical work more challenging. Um, so they pretty much have to retire rather than be used for their vast tribal knowledge. And these newer technicians learn differently. So they need to learn in a familiar environment. And then an employee skill gap between those new and experienced technicians is very difficult to fill. Um, especially when your specialist expertise is dispersed. So it's pretty much impossible to have a highly experienced technician at every single site visit. And sometimes multiple technicians are required on site. Uh, maybe there's an expert required to supervise and check the quality of work, and that could be for a quality confirmation um, following work completion or even shadowing new technicians for a certain amount of months after they finish training. Uh, multiple service visits. So as I'm sure a lot of you know that there's high travel costs associated with technician transportation and this could be through a lot of different things, whether that's poor technician uh, efficiency, whether that's low first time fix rates, equipment availability, technician utilization rate, or even the high uh, mean time resolution as well. Or it's high equipment downtime, so poor SLA compliance, high penalties, and low customer satisfaction. I um, mean, you know, really all of this kind of leads into, you know, poor repeat business as well as poor technician retention as well as job satisfaction. And as we evolve with our technology, uh, product lines are getting more complex. So there's little or no service documentation for a lot of these highly complex products. Um, so you definitely need some way to have those experts able to guide people that are maybe not as familiar with these objects. And that's exactly where Chalk comes into play. So this is a groundbreaking new enterprise solution that allows one employee to effectively instruct another from a remote location. Um, this is a mobile collaboration tool that combines powerful AR technology with real-time video to provide that ultimate solution for remote assistance. And you can kind of think of this as a FaceTime on steroids. So we get that high-resolution video call with some of the most advanced AR technology. 
And the AR piece is a really big deal uh, because Chalk understands the world around you during that video call so we can find the surfaces of the objects so that that remote user can interact with them. And we're taking all that technology and manifesting it into the most simple way possible and we call them chalk marks. Now these are hand-drawn annotations that stick to the objects that they're drawn on. So that's also a really big deal because as you move around, all of those marks are gonna stay exactly where you want them. They're not just gonna float away on the screen. So those chalk marks really allow for precise multi-step instructions to be given with the touch of a finger. So that means the previous instructions can be referenced over the course of the call, even as the employee has moved to a different point of view. <clears throat> so using chalks and things you may notice, um, we have the uh, intuitive human-centric user interface. So it's gonna allow for personalized help on that asset and a technician can get that real-time help on any issues they may have. There's also unlimited calls within the business. So no matter how many times someone is needed, calls will always be available. It's also a very easy to use application. Uh, you simply open the app, select on the contact you wanna call and you're off and getting the help that you need. It's available on iOS and Android devices currently. Um, that, that device pool will be expanding in the, in the future as well. So all of your employees will be stored in one central location. Uh, that'll be the cloud instance where this is deployed. And there's also the ability for work group management. So uh, administrators will have the ability to get analytics on their calls, number of seats used, calls in the last 30 days, active users, call duration, and a lot of other things. And to go along with that, the administrative support, uh, you have the ability to add and remove users, manage users, and you know, typical administrator capabilities. And this can also work with your current LDAP. So users can use their current enterprise sign-in information to actually access the application. And at this point, I'm gonna get and switch gears. I'm gonna share my iPad screen here, and we're gonna do a live demonstration of Chalk. So I have my colleague, Colleen Garrigan on. She's gonna act as my remote expert for this Chalk call. Go ahead and open up the application here. Give her a call and we'll show my view. So hi Ryan, how's it going today? I'm good Colleen, how are you? Good. Yeah, so I have this motor unit thing here in front of me. I'm not really sure how to get it to work. I'm supposed to get it turned on and get it up and running, um, but I really don't have a clue. Uh, I haven't worked with this before, so could you give me a hand? All right, perfect. All right, yeah, I can absolutely give you a helping hand. Yeah, so I see that we have the motor in front of us. That's great. So the first thing we wanna do is to turn it on and see, see, what, see what some of the issues are. So go ahead and flip that power switch in the, in the lower right corner. Okay, sounds like some things are turning on. Okay, um, now there should be a monitor right next to the motor. Is that displaying any information? Okay. No, not so, yet. All right, so we do want to get that hooked up to the motor here. So we have an HDMI port right in the center bottom left. Why don't you go ahead and plug the HDMI cord in right there? All right, is anything on the monitor displaying yet? It might take a moment to warm up. It looks like it's starting to turn on there. Yep, there right, we go. Excellent. All right, next thing is let's see if we can turn this on by pressing that green button on the control panel. Yep, nothing. All right, one thing that may go wrong is that that e-stop in the center could still be pushed in. So why don't you go ahead and rotate that clockwise and see if that'll pop out for you. Yep, there we go. Excellent. All right, is there anything else I can answer for you today, Ryan? Yeah, so there's these two solenoids up here at the top. How do I operate those? Okay, so we have two yellow buttons that are on the control panel. Our left yellow button is going to operate the left solenoid, while the right one operates both. Okay. All right, thank you. Yeah, no problem. 
So uh, you can see we can also change our annotation color. So Colleen's flipping hers. I'm also changing mine. She also has the ability to turn on my flash as well. So if we're in a dark environment and she can't see, uh, she has the ability to control the flash. And you'll see, notice as I turn the iPad in any direction, it's going to give me a indication back to where my marks were originally drawn um, so that you basically remember where you're always at. And there's also the low bandwidth mode, which Colleen actually just triggered. Um, so this is great for low bandwidth situations. Uh, it's going to drop the frame rate, but it's going to keep the uh, high resolution video call so that you'll still be able to see everything very clearly. It's just going to be at a slower frame rate. And that is, in a nutshell, what Vuforia Chalk looks like and how it performs. We'll go ahead and wrap this up with a few more slides. And also you can see when I end the call that it does give me a session summary here. Um, basically it's capturing any point where an annotation was drawn and it is saving them and we can simply export those to the camera roll or wherever. If we using Google Photos, anything like that, we can export all those images. So that if we ever need to reference back to them, we do have the ability to do so. All right, so what's some value that you might see using Vuforia Chalk? Well, for one, execution costs, so you'll be able to reduce those service costs, also increase your technician utilization, so less travel, truck rolls, basically all leading to cost. And you can also utilize more junior technicians who are guided by fewer expert technicians. You also have the ability to accelerate your technician training and scalability. So this will support the digitalization strategy to recruit more tech savvy workers. And like we said earlier, that newer technicians learn differently. So now we'll be able to deliver work experience in an environment that's actually familiar to them. And on top of that, we get that remote mentoring and checking on of new trained technicians. Can increase the quality of service as well. So lower equipment downtime, decreasing the time to resolution, increasing your first time fix rate all leading into basically getting the right answer more quickly. And what's all of that gonna do? Uh, increase customer satisfaction, retention, and loyalty. So you'll improve your brand reputation as well ha as have better equipment uptime. Thank you, um, Ryan, and thank you, Colleen, um, for that. If you are interested in trying Vuforia Chalk uh, to see if it might be right for your team, you can go to our website and download a free trial um, on, from the link um, on this slide. I will be sending um, the link of the free trial also in the uh, follow-up email uh, with the webinar replay. Um, I don't see any questions, um, but lastly, I do have uh, a few questions for you that will pop up after the webinar is closed. So please take a minute to answer these um, so we make sure we are delivering uh, the kind of news that our clients are interested in. And please reach out to me if you have any further questions on what you've heard today. And thanks again, everyone, for joining. Have a great day.